Welcome to another Scotty video. Please like and share. Hope you enjoy. Kim held the Shadow Portfolio of Corrections, Police and Emergency Services, and was later Shadow Treasurer. Uh, Kim was then Treasurer in the Banyan Government and later Minister for Police and Emergency Services and Bushfire Response. Rob, for the invite, I've uh, probably spoken at every single branch across the entire state except for Carlton. So this is my <laughs> first time I've ever been to uh, the Carlton branch. So just um, uh, a little bit about me and, and my background. Um, I grew up in Bansdale, which is just a fantastic place to grow up. We grew up in the Housing Commission area, but it wasn't the great um, Housing Commission areas that you see today, it was the old stock. And uh, so we lived there, and I guess our family was pretty special because I was the only uh, family that actually had a dad. And uh, when there was a cricket match or a footy match, the dad would come out and uh, sort out all our problems. But it was a pretty um, interesting way to grow up in the, in the Housing Commission areas of Bansdale. And at a young age, I thought what my life is going to be about is three things. Politics, playing footy, and climbing the highest mountain on each of the seven continents. So that, that's what I was going to do, and I thought, right, I'm going to set my mind on that, get out of the Housing Commission areas, and uh, start uh, working on those things. The things were going pretty well until um, we got to a point in time uh, when I was uh, 15, I was put up for uh, foster care. And the idea of, uh, that I would go into foster care would be that I would go out and work on this farm. And that was fine, I had no problem with working on the farm um, in exchange for being a part of the foster care system. But what they said to me was, um, we'll bring you in to play footy on a Saturday, but we're not going to pick you up to, after footy training on a Tuesday and Thursday night. So I said to the foster care people, that's no good. If I don't train on a Tuesday and Thursday night, um, I'll never make the team. And as a 16 year old, a year after, I actually made the scene, so it was a really big thing to me to be playing senior footy at 16. So they said, Kim, sorry, you know, this is the foster care agencies, you're going to live where we want you to. So I said to them, if you put me out there, I'm just going to keep running away. Every single night you put me out in that foster care situation, I'm going to keep running away, running away, until I can go to footy training. <laughs> so in the end, I lived with a detective, and then in the end, uh, they stuck me in a, um, a men's boarding house. I was uh, 15, the next youngest was about 40. So there was this massive gap between 65, 64 year olds and me as a 15 year old, but I was able to play footy. So um, it worked out really, really well for me because I was able to come down to Melbourne, play footy, go to university, join the Liberal Party and get on a goal of being able to get on what I really want to do. Play footy until I was 28. Uh, then became too fat and too slow and I was playing in the VFA and I kept on getting punched in the eye and I was working as an accountant at the time. So I go in on a Monday morning with these two big black eyes and you'd be sitting opposite somebody and they go, look, we'll just pay the money. <laughs> um, we'll just pay, look, we're just, uh, don't worry about it, we'll just pay up. No, no point out, but it wasn't any reason of you know, getting into any blues or anything, it's just that my eyes were getting hit so often I was just turning black for no reason. Um, so I was pre-selected at 32 and then went into uh, government with Jeff Kennett when I was 34. So it was just every dream come true. And that's uh, coming from a family where my dad was a very strong Labor man. My mum was a National Party uh, girl. And later on, even though things weren't great growing up, uh, we all got back together again and it was all you know, pretty good. We were 